Hello everyone, welcome back to Mad About Cards and Crafts. I am continuing my mix and match series using products from Pink Fresh Studio and The Greetery. We'll start with some products from The Greetery. This is from their recent release, the Destination Summer and the Destination Stamp Sets. Both have tiny little uh, houses and Jeeps and flowers and compass points and all kinds of fun little pieces. And I thought that they would make a cute little scene for the center of that Pink Fresh Studio pop out stun sunburst stamp and die. I absolutely love these innovative pull apart uh, red rubber stamps from Pink Fresh Studio. The outer edge is something that is not used. It's basically there to keep your other pieces in place. So I am going to carefully remove that because it is brand new. It is still slightly attached. I am going to remove three of the pieces and ink up two of them. I will start with my ballet slippers and then I will come in with the raspberry bliss. Then I will put those two pieces back in and I will ink two more pieces. The second piece that I ink is going to be Sparkling Rose, which will be the middle color for those pinks. And then I will start in with the Coral Reef, which are my coral colors next in line. Then I'll come in with my second coral color and my first orange color. And my second coral color is going to be Passion Fruit. And my first orange color is Peach Fizz. All of these are Pink Fresh Studio inks. Look at how beautiful and vibrant they are. I absolutely love them. I've talked about them many times. They're some of my favorite stamps, and I just think that they're beautiful. This is going to be such a colorful card, and I typically don't make cards that are um that have so many colors on them but these pink fresh studio stamps they just call for it don't they i mean who cannot help but use a ton of color when you're using this particular stamp set i'm going to quickly just talk about the colors that i'm going to be stamping you will not see all of them so for the oranges, the remainder of the oranges, I will use clementine and persimmon. I'll come in with some yellows and use lemon whip, sunshine, and sweet mustard. After the yellow, I'm going to come in with some aqua or teal colors. Those are going to be Ocean Breeze, Mermaid Cove, and Tidal Pool. I do do that off screen. This is pretty repetitive. I just wanted to give you an idea of how I actually inked up these particular stamps. I will lastly come in with some purples, and those will be Soft Lilac, Candy Violet, and Regal Kiss. Then we're going to come in and start creating our cute little scene. And I am going to start by stamping up the little travel trailer. And these little pieces are just absolutely adorable. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm going to start with my mountain. So I'm going to have a mountain in the back of my scene. And I started with some dough colored ink. And then I'll bring in some gathered twigs. For the um, for the trailer, I use, let me see here. I think I used the teal colors in um, Ocean Breeze and Mermaid Cove. And then I will come in and stamp my, my cactus, which is also going to be two-toned. And that will be olive and evergreen. And the little Jeep. Poor little Jeep. So I used my brother's scan and cut to cut these out. I don't have the dies for this. And I completely forgot that the Jeep has a white space between the top and the bottom of it, kind of like a little stripe. And I stamped it in a light gray and then decided after my scan and cut didn't recognize it and cut the poor little Jeep in half 
that I would come, I would trade that and use Metropolis, which is a little bit deeper of a gray and licorice for the tires. So that is going to be just a little bit darker than what you're seeing right there. I will finish the trailer off using the licorice. It has a tire in the back and obviously a tire at the bottom. I couldn't quite figure out what I was looking at when I was trying to put this little stamp on, but I will eventually get it figured out. We will stamp it out and take it over to our brother Scan and Cut. Then I am going to take a, another piece. All of this is stamped on Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. I will take another piece that is cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half and I will use the sunburst die and I will cut that out and I will have a nice little white frame that I can use between each of those different rays. Then I'm going to pop those pieces right back in after I glue it down and I will begin assembling my card. So you know, basically just doing the inking is probably the labor intensive part. It really didn't take me all that much time. Here's where I start building my little scene. So I'm going to take two of the Pink Fresh Studio blue colors. The first one is going to be like sky blue and the second one is going to be a deeper seaside blue and they're both the blues in the pink fresh studio ink collection is absolutely gorgeous i'm going to ground my jeep using the metropolis and then i'll come in with that buff later on and i will fill in that white space because i decide that uh, I need a little bit of desert sand. There we go, right behind there. And that's going to help complete my little scene. That's all there is to it. I will intensify some of the colors. I'll come back in and deepen up those blues because I want the sky to be much more vibrant. And I just think it's absolutely adorable. These, you know, when I saw the little destination pieces from the greetery, I knew that they were good for really small spaces. I have a lot of, you know, stamps that take up a lot of landscape, but I don't have tinier ones. And it was just the perfect piece for this. Now, in order for me to pop up my little sun rays, I need to cut them out as well. So I'm using that same die and I am going to take it over to my Gemini Junior and I will run it through and then all of those little pieces will come out and pop apart. I don't have another frame to use because I don't get it lined up perfectly, which is just fine. Everything looks beautiful uh, regardless. That is a piece of uh, Stampin' Up! white whisper white cardstock and I believe it's a hundred and hundred pound cardstock. I'm just going to take a little bit of that art glitter glue, put it on the back of my frame, and then I am going to line it up onto that card base. Here's where I'm going to go back in and actually take this down and cut it. And then you'll see all the little pieces that come out. I don't bore you with the foam adhesive on the back of each of those beautiful little starbursts, but I do show you a couple just so you get the gist of what I'm doing. Like I said, most of this is pretty repetitive. I just wanted to share how well these two stamp sets marry together. I just absolutely love Pink Fresh and The Greetery. I think that they are both classic uh, companies that carry stamp styles that are very similar and can be utilized together. And I, you know, I just recently moved back to Nevada. So isn't this desert scene just perfect? I'm going to line everything up the way that I want it. Then I'll take my art glitter glue and I will glue those straight down to that 
center circle. The center circle, I am going to pop up using some uh, double-sided scotch foam adhesive just to give that a little bit of a lift, but I didn't want a whole lot of dimension. Plus, it would be too tedious to put little tiny pieces all over all of those mountains and that cactus. So, do you like scene building? Do you prefer large scenes or do you have you ever made a mini scene like this? I think that you should go over and check out the greetery and look at some of the samples from the last release to see just how beautifully they were used in the projects. One of my favorite designers is Kelly Lunsford. Oh my goodness, she just, she is such a talent. She has so much talent in her little pinky and the work that she does for uh, ink to paper and for Pink Fresh Studio and the greetery, it always makes my little heart go pitter patter. So, um, she sells me on everything and that's her job. She does a really good job of that. So there's my, there's my little centerpiece. I'm going to take some of these and I'm going to pop them up using that tape. As I said, I was, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe, ring the bell. Uh, you'll receive a notification anytime I upload a video. I do have a hop coming this weekend. Uh, Seven Kids Craft, who just now started carrying Pink Fresh Studio. So this stamp, and I believe the die is on the way, will be in Kelly's store. If you haven't subscribed to her newsletter, go over to the store. I'll link it in the profile. She's having a month-long birthday bash. There's been uh, the first couple days of the month, she offered ship free shipping with $25. Head over to her store uh, sign up for that email and get notified when she has a sale because like I said, she's carrying Pink Fresh Studio and these stamps and dies are just fantastic. So I am going to put just a couple more pieces on for you. I found that I got a little bit better at piecing the uh, foam tape. I began to just lay to lay it all the way across it and then just trim off the edges. And then at the very end, I took all the little tiny pieces and filled them in onto just the few last rays. So I did not waste any of that foam tape. I used every last bit, every tiny speck that you see there to the side, I did manage to fit that onto those little sun sunburst rays. And I just think that they are so pretty when they are popped up. So I'm just going to do a couple more. And then I'm going to show you my uh, card. I'm going to start putting on my sentiment. The, I took the sentiment that says all roads lead to home. And I'm only going to ink up on the front side the all roads. Then I will come in and stamp out lead home on the inside. And then I did stamp out another cactus. So I'll take that second cactus and I will adhere that to the inside of my card. And that is going to be it for me today. I wanna thank you again for watching. All of the products that I have used will be listed in the description box below. Like I said, head over to Seven Kids, take a look at what they have as far as Pink Fresh goes. The greetery stuff will be linked. Some of this stuff is affiliate links. Most of it isn't, but I thank you for watching and I thank you so much for being with me today. I'm going to leave you with some music and I'll show you a final view of my card. Thanks so much for watching and have a fabulous day.